My new do not enter sign that just came last week. It's got diamond grade reflectivity. As you can see, it's as you can see. It has 80 mil thick aluminum, 80 mil thick rust free aluminum. The code number, the verif the code number for do not for this is R5-1, which is for all do not enter signs in the United States. Got some pre-drilled holes. You could use these two to make them align with metal signposts, or you could just use these two holes, use all four holes, and drill more another hole or just a couple more to in to use for to make it, to make it align with sign brackets and it has rounded burr free corners rounded burr free corners which on my this is the this is the real highway traffic supply do not enter sign the ones that that I that that uh, that I filmed on my do on my last do not enter sign on my last road sign video which is the second do not enter sign Montage video with that one-way sign which I which those one-way signs which that one-way sign is I believe 36 36 which I believe is the size by 36 by 12. This is a 24 by 24 inch And And the do most of the do not enter signs I Besides those 24 by besides those two 24 by 24 inch do not enter signs on, on that do not enter sign video montage video are 48 by 48s and they all have high intensity prismatic this is diamond grade the state where I live in tends to use high intensity prismatic a lot I'm not sure because I noticed diamond grade can get a little ex bit pricey but but the ones on my do not enter sign montage video that actually has that same design those have those have Sharp corners, which are the which are which are the corners that these corners are sh rounded burr free, while the ones on two twenty, which is which is the high state highway two twenty, which is where I film both of my do not enter sign montage videos. It has, it has sharp corners. The one this one has rounded burr free corners, while those two. On that video. On that do not enter sign montage video hat does not, so it so those two are like wannabes, and and no, that what when Wyoming while in about the year codes Wyoming does not put year codes. Wyoming Wyoming puts the year codes after the installation of the year numbers, because as you saw my do not enter sign montage videos. Most of them had 12s, right? Most of them had red 12s, that which implied they were put up in 2012. And the ones with the sharp corners were had 15 black 15s, which implied they were put up, they were installed in 2015. Same with that one way sign that had a 15 on there, which implied it was made in 2015. As you can see, it. It, this is the highway traffic supplies logo thing. It also has the phone number and the 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 rep website where it was bought from. And it was bought two weeks ago, and I just got it last week, and the shipping was like oh, that fast. Sorry for the black hand, because because my phone my light is shining on the reflectivity of the do not enter sign. And uh, this was and 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 it. I'm not sure in the printing. I'm not sure if it's screen or ink shed, because Smart Sign, my two favorite, my three favorite do not enter sign companies that I know that are on the internet. It's Highway Traffic Supply, Smart Sign, and uh, and uh, Soft Signs and more, which I plan on getting more do not enter signs in the future if. And uh, while smart, this is made from Highway Traffic Supply. While Smart Sign uses screen printing, which I'm pretty sure they use a computer and a in this little special printer that prints the whole thing instead of just ink shed print, which which ink shed ink printed 
ink, ink printing tends to fade. Which I've actually noticed that on a couple stop signs of of uh of a couple stop signs in Evansville. Wyoming, which is a suburb of the, of the town I of the city I live in, which is Casper, which on which the year numbers were not do not come with the signs that were bought. The ex, the installers this only why this only happens in Wyoming only, not others. So they slap so they slap a after they install it they slap a year number on there, and that's it. Because at times when there's when they need to replace a sign, a do not enter sign, they can replace they they some they 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 replace it or Wyoming the state installers where I live in which is Wyoming the state city installers may may even order a separate do not enter sign instead of replacing it they just put one on top they just they just put one in either it, they just put one and bolt them on. Uh, over on top of a do of the older do not enter sign and just make it overlap and then they just put the year number on they just put the installation year code on there and that's it or they could just put when they replace one they could just use make a wood back put them on the brackets and just put and just put the sign on top of the, on top of, or they can just make, ooh, yeah, or they can just order a one that's made out of wood. And this is 24 by 24 inch. Highway traffic supply offers 24 by 24 inch and 30 by 30 inch. So that, in, and if you post, which 30 by 30 inches is, is the minimal size for do not enter signs, for, for do not enter signs and stop signs. And the max that Wyoming tends to use for do not enter signs and stop signs, which are 48 by 48 inches, 48 by 48 inches, which, which most of the do not enter signs you saw on my, both of my do not, on my do not enter sign montage videos were 48 by 48, not 36 by 36. Like, like smart sign tends to use the max. And one thing I don't like about smart signs products with well, smart sign i do like the like the company but one thing i don't like about them is that they use pre-drilled they put pre two pre-drilled holes on the top and bottom for that and that's it and for the bigger ones they put two of them right here and and they said it's they do that so it can easily align for metal easily align with metal signposts i could see why when 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 the, when it's like like with the do not enter sign like this, they could just pre-drill holes, holes to to whatever, however you like, however the buyer likes. Like if say if they buy one, they could just they sh could just use the opportunity to put sign pre-drill to get pre-drilled holes on there and put sign brackets on them, and that's it. When 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 they could have just have when they could just let the installers have the freedom to put sign brackets on like Wyoming does, because that because at Zero Road, oh, which is out in the country over by Ca where I live, which is Casper, Wyoming, well right next to the Casper suburbs, there were forty eight by forty eight inch stop signs that actually had that actually had uh. That actually were 48 by 48, and they were on sign brackets. They have two pre-drilled holes. And I plan on getting a do not enter wrong way combo sign from from stop signs and more. So anyways, I hope you like this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Rate, comment, subscribe, baby. Thanks for watching.